I mean, fuck it. Free advertisement. So. Who the fuck am I? I'm the guy trying to fly by most. I gotta drive my ride, I boast. You ever eye my side piece, don't. Cause I got a piece on my side, no, I don't. I got my CD on repeat, cause the beast beat that sub. Power up like DBZ, no GT, that sucked. Except for Super Saiyan 4, that shit was fire. Fire as fuck, so when I release an MP3, better retweet and love. I'm officially meta, better get the four walls. War calls, more fall. Pop corny rappers like Gorball. Red and Baka hotter than the core, y'all. I can switch a style up. Spit it slow as dial up. Watch you fidget getting riled up. It'll take a while, but I'm spitting vile, bruh. You would never believe that I sucked when I first rap. Now all I ever get is love, and I earned that. Pulled this sweat, tears, and blood. Fans return that. Look at all this shit I've done. I can't turn I'm back. Fun you know, this you know in hip hop, I think, uh, I think we don't take enough time to just enjoy what we're doing. I think we focus so much on being serious, you know, being lyrical and being talented that we, we don't even stop to just think about how great the shit we do is. And I'm gonna try to change that perspective. So let's do this. Yeah. I've been giving everything inside my heart and all my music can be solo. Master with the art, with the light of dark, day and night inside my dojo. Can I pull some bitches with the witness like a boat, homie? That's a row row. All my fans be watching me like a body cam or a GoPro. They go. Doesn't really matter what beat I beat up, cause the industry shows me no love, just like Vegeta. Except for Dragon Ball Super, they kinda been, uh, really been giving my boy love, so you rappers better play dead like a zombie with a toy gun. Man, I live with my music, so live it to do with the gift to rip, terrific, it's a give it to you. Gotta work the pen until your hand is falling off, and then you feel the genius spitting through you. Nobody told me like ever that I would be killing it. I'm living my life for the minute I'm giving it relevant. Damn it, I'm murdering beats, you can hear them in the streets like a megaphone on an elephant. Man, I'm just so real, catch me in the back, chillin' with your mom, drinkin' nigga bombs with the baker on, talk about the song, shitty rapper songs, yep, shitty rapper songs, dude, I really didn't want to, had to put you on blast, but if I get basic, it's back upon you. And I think it's really important that, you know, we get these opportunities uh, to, to still be topical and still be able to, to flex your abilities musically, but... I think it's so important you know, to to also be able to just say what you want to, even if it even if it isn't you know super crazy topical or anything like fuck Dragon Ball, you know. <laughs> Gotta get another try while I'm popping off, blasting off on a rap song like Team Rocket, y'all. Scatter your ashes to the mist like I got Brock involved. I'm like a midget playing T-ball, I can't knock it off. <laughs> My team, we see past the lot. Energy seething, we had to stop. All I'm trying to say is it's fucking bullshit that the legendary Super Saiyan Brawly's trigger word was Kakarot. I'm about to beat the brakes off of your bitch ass. You got no class, and your girl, when she gets so past all around the room like an old flask. I could even do better with no raps on an old Mac as an old man. Every time I spit a verse that's so potential, you was thinking I was Gohan. Ready for Rohan, ready for war plans, ready for anyone thinking they got dope, man. Consider this, you find a warning, you should take a chips and get up at the dope, man. Grab your coat, man, we give no hand. Anybody who be rapping so bland, I don't give a fuck, I'm having fun, and I am free, you waiting, then you is no fan. Hello, everybody, welcome back to another Sunday Wednesday. What's going on out there, chat? Happy Wednesday. Hope everyone's having a lovely, fantastic day out there today i am loving the 31 frame shit i see out in the chat i, I saw yabba call it the 31 gun salute that's pretty good uh what's the other one i saw Th 31 frame uh, that's just her new nickname now we we're just gonna have to call her 31 frames 31 frame salute for gunther indeed uh 15 minutes moving 31 frames <laughs> look at my wrench ain't it pretty it is indeed gorgeous courtney uh, Ryogen, what's going on? Finally able to catch a Wednesday, blah, blah, Wednesday live since I'm home sick with a sum, sick with a stomach bug. Say that three times fast. Uh, I love 
I just love that that clip spread. It it was a good one. That was a damn good one. 31 frame Merriam, that's not bad. I imagine having that much time to be able to count to 31. I know, man. I, I, I We'll get into that, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> Chicken Pickle called it the greatest video she'd ever seen. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Man, it it was... It's impressive, honestly. One dollar equals I'm the frame. missile guidance system, Ooh. and I'm here to fuck shit up. You can have some freedom, too. Hold this fucking missile flying at mock Jesus. Mm. Mm-hmm. Can the frame counting be a new game? Maybe. How to lose a foot in 31 frames? Wow. Uh, after my hand slipped from pulling a zip tie, my hand hit my lip, busted it, no stitches, but got a tetanus shot. From a zip tie? What kind of zip ties are you working with? Uh, came home early and found out my neighbor had passed. Jeez, what a day. I'm sorry to hear you had it and you're having a rough one. There's any biscuit. I hope it gets better. Let's get hearts in the chat. Um, yeah, I saw the reference to y'all. Had to laugh. And thank you. Now for a dono, that's not bad. I'm a few seconds into Monk, Sharona, or Natalie. Oh man, I haven't seen the show in so long. I can't, I don't really remember the... The stuff about it. Uh, what's up going on, Lindsay? Uh, can we make it a reward for donuts? Um, yeah, uh, I don't know. I'll have to think on that one. Um, we get to rewatch the thirty-one clip. I don't know. Maybe I'll just make. It's kind of long for a donut. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I uh, just popping in. Hello. Uh, what's the frame reference? I must have missed something. During the last show, we uh, watched as she was walk. This camera was panning over to her, and we counted frame by frame how long it took before when Gunther first entered the the screen till it got to her face. So we counted. It was thirty-one frames, by the way. Uh, taking a break from adulting. I'm here. I did my taxes. I, mine are done. I just got to go pick them up. Uh, I'm not looking forward to... I am not looking forward to that piece of paper when I go pick it up. Yeah, you know, My tax guy was like, yeah, the unemployment... Or not unemployment. The uh, self-employment tax went up. And, uh, and all this stuff. I'm like, oh, great. Yeah, sweet. Thank you. Um, I have to go watch it after this live stream. I think it's up on my Twitter. My Twitter is a fucking shit mess today. I kicked a whole ass hornet's, ne hornet's nest. And you know what? I don't fucking... I don't care. It's my opinion. I stand by it. Okay, well, let me pull it up here. Let me watch it off my twits. This was, this was fucking hilarious. Courtney, I will be lucky if I am... less than quadruple that... One, two, three, four. Oh, you guys can't see it. Let me go to the full screen. Whoops. Oh, and there we go. Pull it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> 13, 14, 15, 16, I didn't think it could be this many. I thought it would be like 18, five. 19, 20, 21, oh 22, 23, 20. You know what I noticed on the rewatch of this after somebody else pointed it out? If you look at the the squares, the the tiles like over here, they're all normal, regular rectangles. Look at these. Look at these ones. These look little normal squares. Look at this. Fucking straight up rectangle. Square, rectangle. Squares, rectangle. Oh my god! 26! 27! Oh my god, I swear I thought it would have been like five. 29! Ten at the most. 30, what the fuck is happening? 31! 30! Well, that's that's the curse of being an adult and uh, one that is technically self-employed. Not only do you have to pay, you know, your regular taxes, but you have to pay the self-employment tax on top of it. 
So you pay your regular stuff and then 15% extra because you're uh, you're audacious enough to be self-employed, so you have to get taxed for it. Um, thank you for keeping the info I overshared last Sunday under wraps. I was on some pain meds and inhibited myself. <laughs> Another news, the surgery went well. My arm is numb. Say hi to Shelly when she gets there. I will, Deech Peach. Absolutely. Thank you. The shopping cart is also warped. I, it didn't occur to me, like, look, these are, like, twice the length of a regular square. And then you have, like, normal squares over here. It's fucking nuts. It's fucking nuts. Best 31 frames ever. My oldest son is laughing for two days. Very good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It, 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 was, it was pretty funny. To say the least. Ah, uh, man, I must have missed the first time around. When was this? A Sunday. Uh, luckily, due to summer break, I only have to pay 10% per fit. Jesus Christ. Mm. 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 Yeah. I, the, the self-employment tax thing really grinds my gears a little bit. Like, I, I, I forget. I heard somebody talking about this a long time ago, and they made a great point about it. Maybe it was Stick Sex and Hammer. He was. It was something like, "Why are self-employed people, small businesses, things like that, paying an extra tax? They should be getting a tax break, not an extra tax that they have to pay for the audacity of being self-employed." That's true. <laughs> what the filter, Dewey? Don't pay your taxes, be a man. Oh, okay, yeah. Then they'll just come talk to me with their uh, automatic rifles. It's just a conversation. This is a conversation. I know that you're begging God to smile in the IRS too. Yeah. Yeah. It I think it was sticks, yeah. It's it's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. But yeah, I'm not looking forward to that pickup. I have uh the best tax guy ever, so thankfully I don't have to pay like seven hundred dollars to get him done. Because I've been seeing this guy since I first started working. But yeah, it's uh not great. Not not great. Not looking forward to it this year. He said, uh, he emailed me, he said they want, they, uh, they're they ready to get picked up and they've gone up a bit. I was like, Ugh, Ugh, oof. Uh, have you set up your YouTube channels into an LLC? Wouldn't do anything. Uh, Timestamps, 3 hours, 33 minutes. Oh yeah, on Sunday. There you go. Thanks to Chicken Pickle, I found this channel. The 31 frames had me dying. Well, welcome, BB True. I'm glad you're here. And she has the audacity to say she's not shooting. Uh, people were really going after the... Because the filters were fucking... Excuse me. The filters were filtering. I gotta pay those 80,000 extra IRS agents. Mm -hmm. And you could see it in a lot. Like the... The shopping cart also had the same thing where the squares were square when you were level with them. But when you came down to it, they were all rectangles. Um... The filters, were, the filters were filtering. Will Shelly be here? She'll be here in a little bit. <coughs> oh, sorry, got a little bit of a, a little bit of a head cold going on. That's super fun. But we're not gonna fuck about too much. We're gonna get into this. Miss Sin will be here as soon as she can. So guys, smash that like button. Share it out on your social media should you feel so inclined. I got caught up in the Steven Crowder drama. Boy, fucking howdy. Did I kick a hell of a hornet's nest by getting into that? I thought the whoever the guy was who came out to do the stuff was his dad. That wasn't the point of my fucking tweet at all. But it's still true that he has his dad fight all of his fucking battles. Like, everything that happened with Landau and his, like, his agent and all this shit, it's all his fucking dad. So I just saw some old dude coming out going, Well, here's why not gay Jared and whatever his ex-wife's name, are all wrong, and my Steven Crowder is absolutely innocent and everything. That's his fucking dad. So I kicked a whole ass whore in his nest. I've been, uh... It, it was fun, though. Fuck them. Anyway. I, I, I used to like Crowder, too, man. He was good years ago, but now he's just fucking garbo. Doesn't matter. That's not what we're here for. So, we gotta talk. We, uh... uh foodie has changed her channel name yet again. Yet again has changed her channel name back to Foodie Beauty. At Foodie the Beauty. Her at is Foodie the Beauty. 
and she changed where it's like Muslim revert living in Kuwait, blah, 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 blah. She changed all of that. It doesn't say Muslim revert anymore. It doesn't say any of that. It says, it doesn't say assalamu alaikum, none of that stuff. All that stuff's gone. Gone. It says, hi there, period, exclamation. Welcome into my world and thanks for being here. I do the following on this channel. Mukbang cooking when I'm not lazy or depressed. Travel when I'm not broke. Plus size clothing hauls when I'm not broke, lol. Exquisite musical masterpieces. IRL live streams. No, she doesn't. Health stuff. No, she doesn't. Cats, vlogs, and most importantly, I bees. I bees. Uh, do you think she's strolling or coming back to Canada? I'll tell you what I think, and it is that stream goal up above. She is Canada bound. That's my thoughts. She's Canada bound. Whether she vlogs it or not is going to be up. It's going to be up in the air because, well, it seems our Gorly Pop fucked around and got a strike on her channel. Well, okay, I should, I should rephrase. She had a video taken down for uh, hateful conduct. And I think it was one of the videos that she privated where she went fucking off calling people fat fucks or a community post. She was calling people fat fucks and fat asses and all that shit. Uh, it's okay. Removed. It says removed. It doesn't say struck. It says removed. I think bold to come back at tax time. Does Canada have the same tax time as we do in the U S now I I'm, I'm torn on this one. I'm, I'm torn on this because this is the cow and I don't want my cow going away but I thought that the stuff she was saying was incredibly gross I'm not I'm not pro strike but I'm just saying I understand why she got it how hypocrisy she is indeed my taxes for Canada are from February to May okay so same time yeah it's uh it's, uh, mm, mm. so we might not be seeing too much of her Canada trip if she is going. Kalari got like 2k subs from Fugity targeting her. That's the thing I don't understand, man. People will cover whatever Foodie says. And why is she going to go after a reaction channel that has like 1,000 subs unless she wants to just make them famous? I have heard about half of the reaction channels on the Gore World side of YouTube because of foodie raging about them. Uh, how much longer do you think she'll keep up the cosplay? I'm thinking a year at most before something bad happens. I have no idea. I have no idea. What she said. What she said about Kalari was really fucking gross. It, it was very nasty. <coughs> um, being fat and getting <laughs> getting the son of the baconator just in Chantel's honor. Uh, didn't someone take her username when she ditched it? I assume the at everyday Miriam username is already taken. I'm, I'm willing to bet money that's taken. But what I did notice was interesting was that the, uh, the, the couple's channel, Sala and Chantel, also gone. But, ah, oh, damn it, I didn't mean to close that. It's, uh, it's already, uh, re... Shit. What the fuck? What you doing, computer? She's already got her little uh, tick back. She's already got the little tick back. So is she changed this and immediately reapplied for verification. Mm, 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 mm. I, uh, I, I just think it's interesting. Everything about Islam being a revert, all that stuff pulled right out. If anybody has a screenshot of what it said before, I'd be very interested to see that. And she took down everything she's put up in the past week, every live stream, chitty chat time six days ago. And uh, she kept this one up. This was a whole mess of a vlog. Uh, two days ago. But everything else was taken down, all her community posts, everything, deleted everything. And she has not uh, been online at all. 
She has not been online at all. Rolling down hills? Does it say rolling down hills? No, it doesn't. It doesn't say anything about rolling down hills. IBs? Blogs, cats, health, IRL? Nothing about rolling down hills. That'd be funny, though. Hmm. The banner says it? I didn't even read the banner. Uh, hill rolling! Yeah, look at that! Dumbass. Hill rolling. That's funny. Hill rolling is in the banner. So is she gonna roll back down a hill? Huh. You notice her st sub count is just stagnant now? Man, I have been calling this out for weeks. It has been 27 days. I believe 27 days since she has hit her 101k and she has not gained. She was getting 800, 900, 1,000 subs a day, 2,000 in one 24-hour period. A day to nothing? 1,000 subs a day to no subs gained in 27 days she bought the subs she bought the plaque she's gonna get she got the real plaque that says foodie beauty sent somewhere else and uh she's gonna be going to pick that up as soon as she can i think uh she stopped doing those sub for sub channels i think she was just straight up buying subs i 100 percent just buying them because a sub for sub channel implies that she has to have you know human interaction and a conversation with people and she's too much of a coward to do that so done hi all took the day off because a friend passed away last night oh, i'm so sorry and the heart's in the chat for emma that sucks man uh her birthday is tomorrow right i believe so uh she sent that shit to canada to shmi's house and she's going to get it now i think she is canada bound which is why the stream goal up above is Canada bound? <laughs> uh, can you tell YouTube what you want it to say? I believe you can have it say, like, you can have it say, like, your name, your channel name, whatever like that. I think you do get to pick. I don't remember. It's been seven years since I've gotten mine. Seven, eight years since I got my play button for my old channel. But it's been a while. I don't remember exactly. I do think you can pick. She hasn't posted anything. I think she got. I think our girl got a big girl strike. I think she got a big girl strike. But also, we are going to take a look at her last stream. Uh, if she hasn't done a visa run, now would be the time. Now would be the absolute time to do it. Uh, she was a mod for that to cat channel until the shit hit the fan. Well, the shit's been hitting the fan for foodie for since January the shit's been hitting the fan for her so it's not not shocking to hear we're going to start with 1.25 see if we can't go from there we are going to be watching this off of stuff K said uh, Kristen's Twitter account I'll put I'll throw that in the chat real quick um, so you guys go give that a follow good archival work over there so guys smash that like button share it out on your social media, should you feel so inclined. Streamlabs is listed. Her TikTok is gone too? Really? She's deleting her TikTok? What the fuck is she doing? What you doing, Chantel? What you doing? What's going on? You all right? You want to talk about it? Oh, she big, big mad. It, yeah, she bitches about me in this, but I didn't get the fucking grace of a naming. I didn't get any of that shit. I just got called Inspector Gadget. I feel ripped off. <laughs> All right, guys, smash that like button. Share it out on your social media. Should you feel so inclined, uh, Streamlabs is listed down below. Uh, we are uh, man, it's, 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 uh, far from goal. It's like uh, 3% like goal. So guys, smash the like, share it out to the thing with the thing and the thing down below, whatever, whatever. Please don't be shitty sound. Her sound has been fucking awful for like the last 10, 12 things she's done. What you doing, Inspector Sin?
If you get a strike, can you not post then? You cannot post anything, community tab, video, anything on your channel for one week. Chin flash, I looked away for one second. What the, what chin flash? That's probably earned. Uh, Horrific Hellfire, can I please get a link to the What You Dewey video? I need it. What? The What You Dewey video? What? No, that's what Chantel says. What? What You Dewey? What? She called the cat ball. I gotta give this some volume. I hate just sharing off of Twitter from my computer. Hey, Michelle. I like it better on the studio. Michelle. I have that all set up. Close. Michelle. I have my studio computer all set up to screen share the twits. Michelle, Lisa, hello. Oh, there she is. Hello. Hello. Hello, dear. Ooh, food. Yay. I'm hungry. I bring you eat. Your microphone off? Talk. Hi. I'm home. Bring I me, missed you all. You bring me eats, but no sauce. There should be sauce in there. Nine sauce. Look in the bag. I am looking in the bag. Oh. I'm sorry, are you addressing There's no me? There's sauce? Because your authority is not I, recognized. I asked for sauce for you, honey. Ah, there's sauce right there. Terrible sauce. I thought you liked that sauce. Terrible sauce. Go back to McDonald's, try again. What sauce you want? Got honey mustard? I don't know if McDonald's even has honey mustard. I'm asking you if you have honey mustard. Uh, Livy fine. wants to know what you brought her. Nothing. Nothing? No no love for Livy? No, I'll get her some wine. <laughs> some wine. Uh, what's this do? Also, Inspector Gadget don't know out of the question. No, nah, it's not a bad call. Yeah, it's not a bad call, Inspector Gadget don't know. Um, I'll have to work on that later. I did... However, I'm, I'm very proud of myself. I finally got a fucking, uh, I finally got a fucking speakeasy video done. So I'm going to try to edit that all day today and tomorrow so I could have it out for Friday. What you eaty? I got nugs. I got some chicky nugs. Oh, thank you, Iona. Uh, bismillah. Fireplace? No, I'm hot. Hi, Krista. I'm gonna put my mic on after I eat so you guys don't hear this. Eating sounds too loud. I'm Sarah Jean, why the comes along? Hello. Hello, Aerotrans. Thank you, yeah, it's an undercap. I bought a few of them, I forgot to put it in my video. I'm so mad at myself. Yeah, no zesty sauce. Hey, Kiki, Kiki, Kiki. Oops. Thank you. Full level. Uh. Toki, 20 for two bucks. Thank you. Bro, I have some chapatis fries. I'll show you guys as I eat it. Hi, Vanessa. Spicy chicken. Pickle soup. No, Chris, not yet. There's a tan one. Thank you, Jaina. It's a little intense, but I did it quick. <coughs> <It's hard. laughs> well, what a What a way to start the stream. Nom, 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 nom. Hello, nom, 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 nom. Is she wearing a thing under her Scuba Steve outfit? She changed out the uh, cap. <sighs> okay. Oh my gosh, Sarah Jean, that's funny. <laughs> Good surprise. God forbid she use a fork. Forks are illegal in Kuwait. Yeah. We all know this. No forks for Chantel. Chipotle, yum. Good stuff. I mean, the life? way she eats, it could be very dangerous for her to use a fork. Yeah, she could take out an eye. She could. It's the, you'll she could really fork your eye out. You'll fork <laughs> your eye out. <laughs> hey, Freya. So I had a nap. <laughs> wow, her cheek Hello? really is cheeking. Mm -hmm. Looks like there's a flat spot, like, right there. Yeah. After does. Oscar. She got to tuck it in. Just tuck it in, Chantel. Uh, look at that. It's, like, flat for a second, then it goes up. So you gotta tuck it in. Tuck that. in them cheeks, ma'am. Look at that pause. Oh! What's that? This oh! Chantel, please just get yourself a bra if you're gonna wear this online. Why? I, I, why would you even notice that for a while? Ooh. Jesus. Mm -hmm. I forgot about this one. 
almost like a video game. Yeah, right? Why does it look like a video game? It's on Netflix shot it. I forgot how cool this one was. A Shelby for the 120. Just got my taxes. Want to give my favorite streamers some love. I love this dono and I love you guys more. Thank you, Shelby. Oh, thank you, Shelby. We get a big thank you to Shelby out in the chat. Very generous. Very appreciated. Thank you very much. Hearts in the chat. Hearts in the chat. And how do you not notice that? Look at them. I, I wasn't looking at her flappers. They're just right there. I mean, now that you say it, I see the flapping, but I didn't know. I, I, look. What's that? It's, it's so apparent. <laughs> this thing blew up. <laughs> Hey, Boo Plot. Giving Mimi. Mimi was a stock. Welcome to Lamsu Ann. Wait, she's eating, but we can't even see her food. She's right, always fidgeting with the hijab. It's because the only time she ever wears it is when she's on camera. That's if she's not true. on camera, that thing is never on her head. That is probably true. That thing doesn't even go near her if she's not on camera. So, Isn't anyways. the whole point of her... I woke up to giving me a ton for like um, Magnus for breakfast time, so I'm like, oh no. So I woke up, just had like some little things in the fridge, some dates, ordered, and it was busy, so food just got here. Really, Eritrean? Our food, no, no sign of salad. Salad's not there. We know this. It was also in this stream that Smart Boy Salad was in her chat talking all types of shit. Oh, really? And he outed the fact that single women can rent the family apartments. Oh. oh I hate this one. Oh, it's so gross. <laughs> that poor cat. <laughs> That's so gross. What's this? And I can't message either, either of you on the Twits. Uh, Why not? Yeah. Uh, at me on Twitter and I'll follow you back if that's the issue. I'm not, I'm not super sure. Open. Huh? My DMs should be open. Hmm. Okay, we'll figure it out, Courtney. I'm so sorry. Thank you. And what do you mean, what is this? That one should have been annotated from last week. I just filming that mall Chinese vlog days ago, but posting it now to cover your border hopping. Why do people care? If, like, even if that was the case. Nobody the cares. Tea? It's that you lie about it. People like, really? People like you in a lie. That's yes, all. Brooke. <laughs> After so horrible post. Yeah, the, and that thing was obviously way old. Five dreams? Yeah, I had some weird dreams last night. Oh my god. I had a dream that I had to do number one very bad. Good name change, Katie. And, um, like, so bad. And I kept having to go into the stranger's home to go to the bathroom, and it wasn't, like, giving you... Well, that's that uncontrolled type 2 diabetes. Relief. And then on the, while I'm, like, going, I'm thinking, oh yeah, I have a catheter. And then I had to what? try to get to a clinic. Oh my god, it was just weird. She peed the bed, is what she's what saying. What the fuck? That was a weird dream to ha dream about After having a catheter. No, yeah, I still do wear makeup. Like, you would think that would. Hello, Paul Freed. Hi. You, you would have to have had a catheter for a, I love those. amount of time in your life to dream about it. Well, all I'm hearing is that she peed the bed. Oh, That's God. all I'm hearing. No, I think only boys. Uh, do sure, meshy. No. Yeah, I think so. No. Dreaming about having to go to the bathroom does not make you pee the bed. Look at how flat those pillows are back there. Do you think that's where she sleeps? That's where she sea lines. You think that's where she's sleeping? Yeah. She peed the couch. That's why the chair's right in front of it. They probably had to move the fucking table out of there. Dale? You guys can ask questions. If I'll answer them, that's a different story. <laughs> it says because By the way, I'm not verified, I can't message here. What? Did whoa. Twitter make it so you can only DM if you're verified now? No. That's weird. I'm not verified. So why would it say people who aren't verified can't message me? Just maybe you can't message somebody who doesn't follow you unless you're verified. Oh, maybe. No, just add us in a tweet and we'll follow you back. We'll follow you. I saw a few comments. Oh, 
What kind of pizza? Yum, Krista. Pizza beef ribs. <laughs> I'm eating sambusa, fries, chapati 65. Anyway, somebody must have been saying something that's not true from one of the reaction channels. Uh-oh, here we go. Ah. I can probably guess who. Oh, verify the edge and making sure you enter the code from your email. Oh. Hmm. That my husband doesn't have a job, so I, I get these comments. You! You said that. You said he doesn't have a job, you Chantel. You said doesn't have a job either. Mm-hmm. Those were your words, Chantel. Mm-hmm. I can tell when someone's been talking crap because I get stupid comments, okay? And, you know, the fact that he was asking some woman he just started talking to to send him money. Mm-hmm. And the fact that he's literally never working. Nope, never. He had a company, and you took it out of your description. He doesn't have a job, Chantel. No, Even doesn't. Alice said he doesn't have a job. The only job he had was, like, the MLM thing. That mm -hmm. wasn't even a job. Number one, he has a business. So how does he have no job? Uh, Thank you, General. Everyday Miriam in the chat said I stole that bitch's handle. She changed her uh, name back to Foodie Beauty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did marry him the revert. Look at it. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Fantastic work. Hi, Star. 822 here. Catnip, yum. Number two, how do you know he doesn't have another job? Like, you don't know anything about this, like, anything about his life. How do you know? Well, Chantel, you come out here and tell everybody's business always. Yes, she does. So we know what you tell us, and we know that you said he doesn't have a fucking job. You said... No job. No job either. Implying no. that your husband also <coughs> does not have a job. No job. You'd come back one year. <laughs> you don't anything about this situation, okay? But if it's coming from the reactor, reactor, I think it is. Oh, you're right, you're everybody near him. She stole your plaque. Mm-hmm. <gasps> You own that plaque. Anyone's that's man bum? <laughs> what about yours? Your history of uh, men. She can just buy another one. Mm -hmm. From eBay, where she bought the first one. Well, what is she saying here? Hold on. If she gets another plaque and pretends like YouTube gave her another one. It's going to say Foodie Beauty on it. It will, but yep. YouTube would not do nope. that. They will not, get, you they'll give not you get another one. They'll give you one of the same exact thing you have if it's broken and got fucked up in shipping. But they're not going to give it a whole new name. Oh. No, absolutely not. Nope. Man a bum? <laughs> what about yours? Your history of uh, men. Who got you eight evictions? Oh, right back to FFG. Mm-hmm. Literally right, no reason. The past, too. I thought we don't talk about the past. Literally no reason. Weird. Why she brought up FFG. But yep. just FFG. Please. FFG. Chantel, your husband wants to poop on people. I don't care no what business, FFG's yeah. ex but a decade ago. People Spit like to out. say, look at Pete, he never had a job. Actually, in his defense, we work at the same call center, making decent money for the time. And then you convinced him to quit his job so he could do YouTube with you. Yeah. This is a job, okay? Don't crap on my job, I guess. We had a job, we were younger. We worked at the same place for years together. Then he worked at Walmart. Then he had another customer service job for a few years, which he walked every single day, like a couple of miles to get to in the- Pete's is a bum, stop it. We all know he's a bum. Uh, Pete's might have had a job, but he didn't the whole time y'all were living together and YouTubing, so that's that. Her and FFG will be fighting beyond the grave at least. Oh, wouldn't that be funny? No, we're not. The only time, and he has a job now. The only time he didn't have a job was when he was doing YouTube. Hi, Squeaky Frog. Yes, because Pete's could totally afford to survive off of his 100 YouTube videos. And he was earning exactly. some money. Exactly. So if someone's going to sit there on their high horse and lie and say that this person was a bum, didn't have a job, <clears throat> and then make fun of me for being with Swordfish, who was a leech, the only, only person, the person I was with before, um... Uh, no, after Pete's. Had, still has a job. Had a job the whole time. So where is that coming from? The person after Pete's. The person after Pete's. 
You mean the crackhead you chased around and gave money to talk to you? Oh, he didn't need to get a job. He had no. a Chantel. Yeah. I was, and he just had will- to let her come over sometimes, and he got paid like a month's salary. You willingly gave him that money, too. Uh-huh. Life lies. And, um, yeah. If you're going to sit on your high horse and say that my men that have been with ha- haven't had jobs and are bums, how about look at the bum you were with who caused you, apparently, according to you, to go to court eight times for not paying rent? Yeah, suck it. <laughs> okay, but you know what? She's <laughs> yeah, she you. grew up and didn't keep getting more bum boyfriends. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. <laughs> I wish I could have no job. Well, when Start you a social were 20, media you had a boyfriend who was a bum, and people think it's like easy. Didn't we all have bum boyfriends in our twenties? It's easy if you're going to use my name for clout. And I didn't have a bum boyfriend. <laughs> Probably had a bum girlfriend. Oh, yes. Views. Yeah, that's <laughs> Chantel's 40, still looking for bums. Yeah, I had a hysterectomy. It's easy to go online and say things like... Oh, yeah, she absolutely tries to get... Er, sorry. She absolutely convinces guys to quit their jobs so they could be dependent on her. And she's like Amber with that. Uh, that sounds awfully familiar, mm-hmm. actually. Because I was just reading something about Crowder that said when he moved to Texas, he asked his wife to quit her job so she could be a stay-at-home mom. Then he didn't want to pay her any type of child support yeah, because she didn't have a job. It's financial abuse. And then sued her. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, now we see what you do. Yeah. Whatever you do in life, never be 100% financially dependent on somebody. No. Ever. No. Because they will pull that away from you and you will be fucked. She's fine. She's in a fake marriage. All the same crap that's parroted all over Girl Worlds. Yeah, that'll get you easy money. <laughs> Go for it. But if you're doing... Yeah, this stream on YouTube was taken down. Things. Her stream, I should say. This one? Yeah. From scratch? Was taken down by YouTube or by her? By her. Okay. She had something else that was taken down. You weren't here for that, were you? Some video of hers got removed. Mmm... Uh-oh. It's a different story. I know. I'm an alley cat. Exactly, Star. I, I don't give a crap about him, Blue Pot, whatever. <laughs> uh-oh. What do you want me to say? Touche? I wish I could see the Facebook crap. I know. We're no chat. <sighs> these, these archive channels He's, no, need to get the chat. That. Mm-hmm. He's usually always here. He is literally never there. Literally never. The one day you stream for like 13 hours straight between Twitch and YouTube, and he didn't make a sound the whole time. He's never there. Um, The once in a while that he just happens to be there dropping off food at the time that she's on, she'll have him bring out the hamster. What is going on here? It's just moon face. Mm. She's exceptionally round today. He has a business. Is Crowder your FFG? Kind of. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> his business partner is he's also with it, business. really. Yeah. And honestly, I like kicking the hornet's nest of people who lose their fucking minds anytime you say anything about them. Oh, yeah. Hmm. They, their head's very far um, from his ass. She pays uh, him for a cameo. <laughs> I think this is the stream where she throws the cat into a garbage pile, kind of. What? Yeah, she went to pick up the cat, and she the cat was freaking out, and Foodie, like, pushed her off, and the cat flew into a garbage pile. You can hear, like, shit crashing when the cat falls. Oh, Jesus. That's probably why she took it down, then. Probably. Crowder or Pool? Well, Tim Pool's head is very far up Crowder's ass right now. Uh, right now on Twitter, Tim Pool and Lauren Southern are going back and forth. Tim's like, why the fuck should Crowder have to pay his ex-wife... 25 grand a month and Lauren's like she made he made her move to where she lived I mean that's a huge amount of money for child support alimony whatever but that's quite common when the and he's person also is a millionaire insanely rich yeah, when they're extremely wealthy that's a common thing yeah so it, that's that's going on on Twitter that's fun because he's available and Tim Pool's all offended about it on Crowder's behalf like dude when that happens to you you're going to be paying the same thing yep a lot during the time when you go live by that, lo- by that logic, then income. the people who stream mm-hmm. snipe me and react to my that content almost immediately after also have no jobs, like they claim, right? Like because they always have the time. Ten? Look at, look yeah. at. Ten. Probably five, maybe. Right. It, uh, just beaten today. She has all the time in the world, every single time I go live, to stream snipe me so she can afford to take her kids somewhere. 
a lot of free time. Am I right? Yes. <laughs> Maybe she Could shouldn't be. claim she's struggling with 25k a month. It's the fact that she had to pay for her own lawyer, too. So, Steven stopped paying, took her to court, and all this other shit. Go read the Twitter. Uh, Lauren Southern explains it very well. These are sprayed. No, the bees are sprayed all done. I still have some. But that was like a... Just kind of like a... A limited time thing. <laughs> I was like, make me... Her hands are dirty. Her hands are always dirty. It's Chantel. She doesn't wash. She does not wash her hands. She said that before. Bees are sprayed. But if I was in Canada, I'd be able to get, get it to you guys. Shipping is too costly here. Hi, Abby. Don't trust anyone. It's hard to. Ooh, yum. Watermelon soda. Okay, this is chicken 65 chapati. So it's chapati bread, which is this. I sent you the perfectly imperfect tweet of the pictures of the message removed from YouTube talking about why the video was removed. Is that the one I just showed? I'll take a look. I guess I'm always eating. What, what about it? At least I don't hide behind a camera fat. I show myself. And it's like a homemade Indian. At least I don't hide behind the camera fat. I show myself. Did she just. Did she just pull a Biden? I think she did. All right, fat. Yeah, she wanted to do a push up contest with her. Bread. Very popular here. And it has chicken 65, which I don't know what that even means. Feasty like the Beastie. Oh my God, that should be her fucking name. Feasty nice. Beastie. And French That's fries fantastic. and like spicy mayo. It's so good. <laughs> Foodie Biden. I didn't check anybody out, Connie. No. <laughs> I wasn't checking anybody out. <laughs> I can honestly say, with my whole chest... I saw that clip on Twitter of her looking like she's looking some dude up and down a couple of times. She probably was. Even... Yeah, who cares? Yeah. Be quiet. She is... Has always been a hoe bag. She's horny. She's, she still wants to hoe bag. She is a horny girl. Yeah. Oh, meow. Hello. Speaking of hoe bags, come here. Uh, hey, Sin. I got to spend part of my birthday enjoying your stream. At home, I'm at home eating green chili chicken pot pie. Ooh. Much love from New Mexico. Well, thank you, Joseph. Happy birthday. Thank you, Joseph. Happy birthday. Good you meow. You got a happy birthday meow, too. Oh, oh This whole yeah. circumference. I have not seen a more handsome person. In Kuwait, then she's so one bees away from calling FFG a dog face pony soldier. <laughs> <laughs> I love how she's talking about how hot salad is with her different sized eyes. So, salad is is the I'm not joking. probably best looking guy that's ever talked to her, but he's not, yeah, I mean, he's not my cup of tea. No, he's I'm, probably I'm a, a five. I mean, it, I mean, he's, he's a little so why when I have eye candy like that, I think it's goofy, ruins. Anything. He's very I mean, goofy. if he if he had the hair and the the eyebrow uh, and was like a man with a charismatic personality, a maybe? manly personality. Yeah, but he's just a fucking goofball. He, it kind of ruins it. I think he's a little. He's special uh, on the spectrum. Maybe he's a special. Uh, sorry to break it to Chantel, but I have a job and still show up to streams and make jokes. And then I woo for Shelly. Thank you, Maddie. I on bikes. Thank you. Very good. Very Don't good. trust China. China is asshole. That's true. Uh, I used to be part of the Mug Club, but when Crowder lost uh, Not Gay Jared, Quarter Black Garrett. Quarter Black Garrett. He was good. <sighs> Without sharing too much information, I was in contact with Quarter Black Garrett about the demonetization stuff. And then, for whatever happened, Whatever behind the scenes, all that shit got pulled immediately. Yeah. That... It just got all of our, like, we talked. We were having, like, full-on conversations. Something happened behind the scenes. He's like, I can't talk about this anymore. Right. That was it. Well, because uh, there had to be some kind of deal made with YouTube for him to get his channel back and fuck everybody else that he screwed over. Yep. Because he screwed over, like, 20 other channels. Oh, yeah, and it wasn't all he just needed me. to do was, on behalf, say, hey, YouTube, fix it for these everybody else too and he didn't he just took it for himself yeah something happened behind the scenes quarter black hair just didn't talk to me again about it and that was it yeah um then screwed dave landau up. that was bad the dave landau that thing was, was everything bad. that's come out has been really bad the dave landau thing the thing with daily <laughs> wire the candace owens stuff all of it was just bad 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 over and 20 i still bet just stick up for him oh it tailed feature got caught up in that first wave 
Yeah. Like it, it was a, a lot ton of, people. of channels. It was a lot. But yeah, the, the Dave Landau thing is what really, really got me. Because Landau was fucking hilarious. Mm-hmm. Landau's always been hilarious. Um, Chantel thinks that salad is hot. He looks like Chantel is trying to kidnap him. Uh, holding him in a windowless room, refusing to let him go work out because it might make Chantel angry. True. When they're out together, it, it probably looks like Salad is her cameraman. Like she's she's a, a something. She's a something that gets filmed in public and Salad is her cameraman. It doesn't look like they're husband and wife when they're out together. Oh yeah. It looks like he's her employee. Yeah. Uh could be worse, crowded could be puffy party. <laughs> Dude, that puffy shit is hilarious. I don't know what that means. P. Diddy? Puff Daddy? What happened? He got raided by the feds. All of his homes were raided by the feds oh. for sex trafficking. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Did John, did you see the TikTok I put up on my uh, on my Twitter? It's, uh, wake up in the morning feeling like... And it's somebody grabbing glasses and packing a bag and running out the door. <laughs> <laughs> Would I bother looking at anyone else? Maybe I was staring at something else. I don't know. <laughs> Retired chicken? Where are you going? <laughs> yeah, P. Diddy got raided by fucking, I think it was Homeland Security. I would have figured he would have gotten in trouble for the whole uh, Tupac thing that came out. What about Tupac? Apparently he was behind Tupac getting killed. What? Yeah, some guy came out and confessed to the murder of Tupac and P. Diddy paid him to do it. Whoa. Yeah. A chicken 65. Oh my gosh. Natalia, I just put in a reese. Ooh, curry, Jack Young. FBI and Homeland, yeah. Of all of his homes, too. Whoopsie, whoopsie. It's okay, I can handle people. Brenda. No! I'm sorry, I don't agree with you. Oh, I love these things. These? Yeah, we see you stuff your face with them. I made a song called Handsomest Man. I don't front, okay? Mm -hmm. Babe! Hi, babe! I don't front, dog. Hi, Roach. I mean it. Hi, Patrick. Some Busek. And then there was all that shit with Nickelodeon? Yeah, that Glee? was wild. That was wild. Man. There's a lot of weird shit going on lately. It's almost like... You're Hollywood. being distracted from something is what it it's seems like. It's almost like Hollywood is chock full of kitty diddlers. Oh, well, yeah, that's a definite. We saw the Snickers. <laughs> she do front. She do front. About 31 frames of it. Mm-hmm. No one's perfect. Without the filters, it might have been like 50 frames. Yeah, maybe. Syrian food. Falafel. I know other countries have falafel, too. Cat Williams wasn't lying. How many That's people? True. How many people need to come out and say this shit right. before people start going, you know what, maybe? Yeah. And, like, nobody second-guessed Kevin Spacey. Nobody second-guessed any of that mm -mm. shit. Food from? Where is it, babe? Syria and Lebanon, the Levant countries all have similar. Um, what happened with Nickelodeon? It was a documentary. I don't remember the name of it, but you got to watch it. Yeah, there's some documentary. I think it's on Netflix. All the kids that were on, like the kids shows that we watched, were all getting diddled behind the scenes. Oh yeah. I did my clue bell once. Quiet on set. Yep, that's what it was called. On oh, it's HBO. HBO. Yeah. Hi Gemini. Hi Fernando. John Galt. Yep. Chicken that chicken one. 65 is retired chicken. I get to eat internationally. Mm. That uh, Alex Jones is right jar. <laughs> this one is not crispy anymore. Never been wrong. Wrong. Let me Yeah, Drake Bell went to prison for rape. No, not Drake Bell. He was the one who was molested and raped by some guy named Brian. Yeah, but didn't he go to prison for rape too? Or no, accused that's, of it? that's the kid. Oh, that's Danny Masterson who was. Yeah, that Drake was the kid who got diddled. Yeah. From breakfast places and the fresh? Yeah. <laughs> I actually can see that. Squeaky Adonis is awesome. Did you see their olive? I don't know how I transpose Danny Masterson and Drake Bell, but. Far? Mm. That Danny. and Farm Boy. <laughs> Thank you, Shelly. <laughs> Tastes like, like when you open a box of like old Christmas decorations. I know what you mean. Yeah, babe. Okay, so Drake was sexting a 15 year old. Okay, I knew I wasn't too far off. But uh, Danny Masterson okay, is the okay. one who went to jail, jail. Hi, Rhonda. Oh! 
Can you be my nurse? <laughs> Each country has its own way to make falafel or other stuff, yeah. I, I, Gemini, it's Gem, not surprised that, that someone who was kitty diddled would grow up to also want to kitty diddle. Yeah. That's quite common. Oh my god! Ready, set. You're getting the bat wing. Please. <sighs> These are so good. Thank, thank you, Lisa Lulu. I, Much appreciated. I know someone's counting. Where's Henry Reed? Remember? The person who used to count the lockmas I would eat? Who's counting how many sambusek I eat? One more chicken, 65. Anyway, when people are counting how many things you eat, Chantel. It's probably because you're eating an insane amount of them. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> Brenda. Hmm. Oh, okay, Lisa. Mm, nice. The frogs thing is true, but the second part warm -up? of that nice. is incorrect. Nice, squeaky frog. HJ. <laughs> Blue pot, yeah. Probably. Didn't Chuck Berry marry his 14-year-old cousin? Who the fuck's Chuck Berry? Is that Why the that singer familiar? from the 70s or something? It sounds real familiar. I'm gonna tell you. Latte Americano. I like cappuccinos. I think. Oh, there's a lot of stuff out there about Tom Hanks. In order? Tom Hanks is a singer. Cappuccino, latte, and, and then Americano. <laughs> Americano feels too raw. Like no one's holding Okay, I thought so, John Galt. ...your hand in the process of drinking it. Nice, Paul. Good luck. Mashallah. <laughs> Lisa, this one doesn't seem to be deep fried, but it probably has the same sauce they use. It was Jerry Lee Lewis, not Chuck Berry? Okay. What, Blue Pot? It, it, Chuck Berry seemed like he didn't belong in this conversation. It's so old. It's a <laughs> I know, Squeaky. I know what you mean. You like the mall vlog? That was a fun day yesterday. <laughs> like, um, I walked a lot. Isn't it true fitted sheet or am I mistaken? I remember hearing like something about this just walks. like a week ago. Crow member for eight months. Hi, Mr. And Mrs. Sin. How goes your evening? It goes. It's not evening time yet. It's still afternoon. Yeah, I'm not feeling super hot today. I've got a full blown head cold right now. Yeah, you mean. Slow. It's weird. I find my leg doesn't have the same strength as it used to since this incident. Okay, sciatica your life has to go the pre does dating not eliminate your leg strength. That is insane. Well, you know, I mean, it's it's not diabetic, so it's got to be something. True. All right, you're in charge for a minute. I got to pee. I agree, okay. Blue Pot. Take a noisy she noise looks play. like she has a blue clitoris on her head. Oh, my God. I agree. Oh, my God. <laughs> you pervert brains. It was fun. No, wait, was that the Lockma era? No. What about Tom Hi, Hanks? Tom Hanks is a accused I'm feeling okay, of, actually. He, he did Hi, a lot Tracy. of Epstein Island stuff, and he oh, yeah. is a uh, pervert get a dog. pedo, supposedly. Like supposedly. Probably a golden retriever. Or a borzoi. A borzoi. Something with a long beak I can grab and kiss it. It was not so yesterday, according to Internet Detectives. There's like literally, like, how can they prove anything? Like, what? It was literally yesterday. Mm. Where is the bingo card? I don't know, Joanna. I'm not in charge of how those things work, and I don't know how to make I can, it come Look for the receipt. I could see it over there on the, the other monitor. Board. He's only clicked free space so far. Yeah. <laughs> Probably already threw it in the garbage. Uh, I'll go look at my garbage. Joanna wants to know where the bingo is. <laughs> it's over there. It's, it's not, not up, up there. right now. But I've never been on one. A cruise, no. Your filter changed the Chinese box from a square to a rectangle. You too. I didn't say me too. Say it. I did not say me too. You say it. You too. You. <laughs> if first. aliens exist in this world. Well, that's if. the thing. Is if, if if I do we have time? No, we don't have time for a ten-minute Dan Carlin clip. But he explains the alien thing so well anybody who doesn't know dan carlin does a podcast hardcore history and <sighs> something about current events i don't remember the name of it but he explains the fermi paradox he did this for the intro to 
Yeah, you know, fucking hold on. I'm gonna see if it's see if I can find it. We can watch it very quick. Because to me, it's very interesting. Talk to Jeff. For well, a there, I mean, there's definitely aliens. That's just there definitely is aliens. There would not have be sightings of them for oh, thousands of years if there were not aliens. It's They're two there. minutes. It's two minutes. We're gonna watch this. It's a two minute clip. And I will never do this justice, but I'm going to speed it up to 1.5. Yeah, the Fermi para paradox is very interesting theory. It seems like it makes sense. What year did humankind acquire the capability to destroy itself? Every civilization in the universe, if it continues to progress technologically down the road, will reach a period when it can kill itself, either on purpose or accidentally. And guys like Nick Bostrom, who study, you know, global catastrophic risk and stuff like that, and, you know, what if a comet hit the planet? What if nanotechnology goes? Don't get copyright claimed. I don't mind if I get copyright claimed for this. It's so interesting. It's out of control. I mean, looks at all these. Issues. Plus, I like to support Dan Carlin. I pay for his podcasts when I can. He suggests that the Earth entered this civilizational phase, this great filter period in our own history, in 1945, when the atomic bombs were first used. This fits into something on what's called the Fermi paradox, and and this idea of reaching a danger point in your civilization is called the Great Filter. The Fermi paradox is a famous paradox that was um initially talked about supposedly by a bunch of the great physicists in the world on their lunch break, where they had done the math trying to figure out the possibilities of intelligent life being elsewhere in the universe. And the math is so overwhelmingly in favor of the idea that there must be, right? There's hundreds of billions of stars in our galaxy, hundreds of billions of galaxies in the universe. It just seems like a slam dunk, right? So then Enrico- That's what kills me. It's just the sheer number of it. Yeah. We can see- We can't be the only thing. In the observable universe, hundreds of billions of stars. Mm-hmm. Just like our sun, with planets all around him. Yep. It, we're not alone. It's simple. Fermi famously, one of the great physicists ever, famously then says to the group, so where is everybody? And that's the Fermi paradox. The math says they should be there, but they're not there. What's the reason they're not there? And that's where the great filter comes in, because some of these people who study this stuff have suggested that there might be a point in every intelligent civilization's development where they acquire this ability to destroy themselves and have to get through the period where they have that capability and get to the point where they figure out how not to do that. And it's kind of like a pass-fail test for intelligent civilizational growth everywhere in the universe. And sort of, by its very nature, most civilizations don't pass it. And so maybe that's the reason they're not all out there. Hmm. It's creepy, man. It is. It's, ugh, it gives me the chills. It's so creepy to think about. Come adopt, come adopt me. Come take me away from- Yeah, nobody wants you. You are the worst representation for humanity we could proffer for. Yeah, I, I think if they kidnap Chantel, they would probably come and blow up our planet. Within an hour. When she eats all the food on the spaceship. <laughs> they have a six week journey back to. <laughs> she leaves Quasar. them with no water, no food. Quasar 6. <laughs> and she eats all the food day one. <laughs> they just find her passed out, seal position with a bunch of wrappers around her. Like she ate the soap. On this planet. I don't want to live on the same planet with morons like this. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> She said adopt instead of abduct. Yes, she did. Adop did she really? She said aliens adopt me. <laughs> <laughs> no probing and we're good. You would love some probing right now, ma'am. Don't um, lie. She, she you, needs... You would, you would ab adopt yourself to aliens just for the probing. She needs a probing. <laughs> She's probing for it now. <laughs> She's hoping, hoping for a probe now. Meh. 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 At best. But you know what's not meh? The fact that we're like halfway to goal. Yeah, that's not meh. That's not meh at all. That's good work. Good birds. Everyone gets an alien. I do want to go on one someday. <laughs> Except Shanta. <laughs> yes, babe. If they had a life, they wouldn't be obsessed with others online. Yes. I Who's obsessed? It's just funny, Shanta. It's I think just hilarious. that's the super chat where Salad said, they go frame by frame, obsessed the sick action channels. Sick action channels. It sounds like we're doing some gnarly skateboard moves or something. It, it sounds sick like it action. should be accompanied by a single chord. <laughs> you know, I, I do a kickflip over Miss Sin naked or something. Why am I naked? With fireworks in the background, just with my jinkos. Ah, uh, sick action. <clears throat> I mean, think about it this way. When you watch a movie, this is entertainment, okay? But when you watch a movie, you watch a TV series. Oh, yes, sick and sass. Fuck yeah. yeah. Do you then log off and then obsess about every little detail about that thing that you watched? Oh, yeah, the Snickers? I mean, people do. I do. People do. I there, do. There's like, 
the popular television show when everybody comes in the next day at work and talks about what happened on the last episode. That's a thing, Chantel, and you've made your life a reality show, so people are going to talk about it. I, If I really get into something, I look up lore. On yeah. It. I Google maps. And there are whole <laughs> videos of people discussing every new episode Before? of every show that comes out. Just like your show, Chantel, there are people discussing every new episode. Before this show, I was watching a breakdown, because I love television show breakdowns. I was watching a breakdown of True Detective Season 1. It was like an hour-long video. And it was so interesting. You love that shit. True Detective's a good fucking show. I mean, in general, you love watching... Analysis. Show, show stuff. I love watching psychological analysis of shit. Yeah. Um, what's it, like, I, I have been on the hunt as a poster for my studio of the first law series, The Map Wait, of the Circle of the Wait, we found one on Etsy, didn't we? Yeah, it was like $40. So. Yeah, maybe I'll get it for you for your birthday. I've been on the hunt for a map of the circle of the world. Like, shit like that I just really like. Oh my god, the amount of hours of videos I watched on the psychological analysis is, 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 is of Better Call Saul. From Jimmy McGill to Chuck. Right, to, and, and those are fictional characters. Yeah. Well, you must be obsessed. I am. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> Actually, everything... Is still in the bags. The Snickers. There's still some left. <laughs> oh, this, they're so open. Everything is still in the bag. Half of the Snickers are gone. Already. These, <laughs> half of, these guys. Okay, oh, this oh, is. Wait a, a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Go back to the Snickers because in our grocery cart, cart we saw two packages of Snickers. Yeah. There's still some left. <laughs> But this is a twin pack, so it's. She had two of these. She had four packs of Snickers. Five times. I thought she had. I thought she had 10 Snickers bars because I saw this, uh -huh. but this is two packages and they're taped together. Yes. She had two of those. Uh -huh. She had 20 Snickers bars. Yes. Not 10. Yes. And 10 are already, 10 and five, then some. Five are already gone, at least. 10 and then some are gone. Probably. This might be all that's left. I think this five is all Snickers that's left. Five Snickers is all that's left. It's all that's left. There's a few. Ma'am. Yeah. Calm down. There's like two left in there. Why are you eating all these Snickers? They're for guests. So 13 are gone. Why did you need 20 Snickers bars? Full size Snickers bars. Mm hmm. Why? These, you have to. Big bars? Big bars? Yeah. Big bars are the size of normal bars three years ago. Well, that's true. These guys? Okay, this is a treat. Syrian dried apple. was hungry, right? Look at all the shits that are missing out of there, too. Fruit leather, by the way, is it, amazing. It's if all still in the bag. She has not put any of this away. She's just had it sitting on the couch and eating out of the bags. Don't snicker shame her, guys. No, I'm snicker shaming. Yeah, she's just eating out of the bags. She's, just, she's not bothering to put any of it away, just in bags on the couch. She's just picking out of it. If you Have you ever had fruit leather? <sighs> no. Oh. Was it dried fruit? It It's... Kind of like had dried, dried fruit. fruit before. No, it's it's kind of like dried fruit, but it's like an adult fruit roll up. Oh, okay. it's very good. No, I've never had one. Oh my gosh, you guys! If you like fruit leather, oh, you will love these. Howie is on vacation. Hi, cream. I think it's funny yeah, how they change like their It's like ah, fruit jerky. Yeah. Follicle oh, mastermind and con con constantly trying to bamboozle us. Yeah, like I'm constantly trying. That's, that's what's annoying. Is like none of it makes sense. Why? What's the motivation to do this? You know, like. That's true. Gunther is the guest all these are for. She has been eating for 26 minutes straight, by the way. Mm. Everything that she can get her hands on in the chair, she's just been inhaling it. Yep. Mm. She's got everything in arm's reach, like Homer. She's yeah. doing the Homer. <laughs> she's Homer. When she's I have Homer. a health journey, Shelly. Stop I'll talking to me, Chantel. God, I hate what she does. I don't know. As you can see, it's not that great. That Facebook grandma needs her name. Thank you, Kim Richards. How the heck is that your business? Chantal ain't your close family or friend. And she's not paying your bills. Now let's take a look. Cheating at bingo. We just got Miss Sin's mic. Uh, have we gotten a woo? Yes. No perfectly timed donor. No goal. We're like halfway there, though. Farts in the chat. That don't math. Let's take a look. We had a cat fart. What? The fart on the cat. We had Oh. We had a meow. Uh, 650 watching and 198 likes. That does not math. That does not math, guys. Smash that like, share it out, do the thing with the thing and the thing down below. It's good big all hail blue whale down there. I've been feeling like shit, but I'm still going to the goddamn gym. Are you? No. Are you, no. chat? Uh, movie reference? Yes. Did we have a movie I did. Reference? I forgot what I made the movie reference of, but I made one. Uh-huh, sure you did. 
Uh, Cheating at bingo? No. Click. That was, I made a movie reference, goddammit. Mm-hmm. I don't remember what it was, but I made it. Okay, not bad. Two bridges that were destroyed. I thought it was just one bridge that got knocked over. Did another one fall over? Hmm. What's my thoughts on it? Man, that video. That was crazy. It doesn't really look accidental. They drove straight into the thing. Somebody said it looks like how quickly it lost, regained, and lost power again. They said it looked like there was a dead man switch on it to kill power. I don't know. I can't afford the gym. Do you have arms and a floor? You can figure out the rest. Yeah, you don't have to go to the gym to gym. That's true. I'll go get Harry after and give him a French fry. Tracy? Definitely sus of it. Definitely sus. Yeah, it's like a fruit roll-up, but thick. An apricot. It's, it's it's weird that you have to question everything nowadays. Well, like, I, and you really do, because you know whatever the news is going to tell you is probably not actually what happened. So you have to kind of figure things out on your own with every event that happens in, in the you world. You have to remember how much time and space it takes to turn something that size. I know. But, but why would you be going straight towards the You see the bridge there for a long time. Like, it, it takes a long it time to turn. under the bridge. I think it travels under the bridge. But it was such a wide margin, and you nail the one spot you shouldn't be at, and then the whole fucking thing fell? The way the whole thing fell is interesting. It's interesting. It reminds me of the way the whole other things fell. Oh, Natalia, no. Vanessa. I need five gallons of water now. I'll be right back. I'm I don't not, know what the second bridge is. Though. I'm not I saying look up the second bridge. I'm not saying it was, it was on purpose, but I'm just saying it, I'm giving it a side eye. It, I'm giving it a hell of a side eye. It was, it was weird. It was weird. And that is literally my worst fucking fear. Yeah. I hate bridges. I fucking hate bridges. I hate being the, under them. The, I hate being on them. Big ones are scary. Like the really long bridges like that <sighs> are creepy. They creep me out. Uh, I, I don't. I don't like them. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't like them. Don't be along the way. You hear me? Move on. And now I don't like them even less. Tell me more. Susan says, "What happened? Are we at war?" Mm, probably. Uh, the amount of stupid to do that by accident is great. I mean, yeah, it, it is an really impressive stupid. amount of stupidity. Like there's, and those big boats have more than one person. In, like, the captain area. There's, like, co-pilots, and there's other people have, there. There's, like, a big giant window, and there's probably at least five people in that room. Have that you somebody guys, would have been like, hey, there's a bridge up there. Maybe we should watch where we're going. Did it say how many people perished? Six. Did, and they were all workers who were just working they on the bridge. They were just doing their job. Did you, did you guys see the <coughs> Cost of Concordia video? I'm Cost of Concordia from... I'm not uh, what you're talking about. Internet historian. What are you talking about? Is that that boat? The boat. Oh, where they just like the <laughs> they captain this, was just yeah. like, I'm just going to drive up next to this island and yeah. just crash the whole fucking yeah. boat. Yeah, that was nuts. It's stupidity is impressive. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. So yeah, before you come for my husband with his job and job shame him, you're going to tell me that nobody in those audiences works at a Wendy's or something. So don't job shame people. I came here to laugh, now I'm fucking depressed. Mm. Sorry. Well, just think about the captain's face if it was an accident going, Oh no, I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I'm not saying it's a lower Wendy's, I'm just saying people use that as like a lower end job. How are we job shaming your husband when you don't even say where he works? And not to mention that, you know, people who work at Wendy's are, you know, working. They have jobs. They're- unlike your husband who doesn't have a job either, according to you. Yeah. <laughs> what you doing, Chef? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you turning? <laughs> and if you're insulting him, stop that turning. <laughs> you're insulting everybody in the audience who has like a a lower paying job or um, a job that you. Oh, she did indeed shame Al's wife about her retail job. Oh wow! I don't think it's sufficient. I'm shocked even to know, hear that. You don't know how much the law makes. You don't know. You know what I mean? But I know he makes at least YouTube a month. His job yep. is fine. It's perfect. Obviously. Apparently, salad works twenty four hours a day. That's why he's never home. He is on call for perfume emergencies. <laughs> and if it wasn't- 
he comes home just smelling of other people's perfume, right. other women's right. perfume, and goes, oh, rough day at office. <laughs> he could do something else because... I mean, had- she has said before when it was like the middle of the night, salads at work, at like 2 o'clock in the morning over there. What the fuck perfume business are you doing at 2 o'clock in the morning? He's, he's not at the perfume. He's not at the perfume business. The ship he's the at the bridge is a visual representation of Chantel destroying her chin. Oh, God. You know what? I, it, <laughs> this meme works in literally every circumstance I've ever seen. It was the impractical jokers <laughs> going, all right, turn the ship. And then, <laughs> and then it just cuts to them dying. Uh, <laughs> it's not funny, but it is. I, it, I, I don't know how old it is, but I saw a video yesterday of some dude who jumped on the top of an 18 wheeler and was like tic tac dancing. And then it went under the bridge and it just knocked him straight off the fucking truck <laughs> and he died. And I could oh, not no. laugh at it. I like, it was like, ah, you fucking idiot. But he died. And it's sad that oh. he died, but. Just tic tac dance in and then put off the top of the fucking truck. Well, it's like an archer where they were on the train fighting. It was the episode that the Charlotte Park boys were in. He's like, yeah, we're still just on the train. Supported <laughs> himself with his business before he met me. You know, it's no one's business. No business, no one's business. I want to work at Wendy's. You get free food, right? <laughs> Hi, Ruby. Cheez Its are good. Hi, Lynn. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, that's the Darwin Awards. That's it. If you're going to do something completely idiotic, then I, I can't really feel bad for you. I mean, the people with the boat thing, that's sad. Because the bridge workers Yeah, died. they were and just it, doing their job. They didn't do anything stupid. But th- sometimes people do very dumb things. Yeah. Yeah, even if you work at Dollar Tree, it's still income. Uh, my, whatever the hell your name is. Weird foreign letters... You should do vintage ALR reacts. We're going to have to do something, man. Right? Uh-huh. It's so fucking boring. I don't even know if she's put out another video lately. I have no clue. Nothing wrong with that. You know? Ammo. Oh, my God. Fuck out. <laughs> Get out We're of here. not talking about this again, Ammo. We're not doing it again. Imagine someone said that I don't have a job while I'm a business owner. I can buy their basement rent all at once. <laughs> their basement rent. Wherever I die, I hope I leave behind those I leave behind. I want them to laugh. I want to be a warning label on something. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, things do have labels for reasons, and you kind of wonder sometimes, like, hmm, who did that? I, I, uh, was that stupid? My, you know what my favorite thing ever is? Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's a true calling that I've just never taken up. Being the before person on infomercials. Oh yeah, that that would be funny. Where you like can't do the really simple task. Like, I open up a closet and all the Tupperware falls on me. Yeah. Like I feel like I, that was my calling. I'm trying to cut a tomato and smash it with the side of my fucking. <laughs> I miss my true calling. <laughs> God damn it. The apartment situation. You mean the change of furniture? No, the you moving your own private apartment. Well, the apartments, yeah. Well, Salai's on call for 15 minutes, eight hours, fart smelling. Duh. What the fuck was the rest of that? <laughs> eight hours, fart smelling. He's asking Chantel her calorie count. That's true. It's true, guys. We are almost halfway to goal. Smash that like, share it out. Streamlabs listed down below. Uh, Miss Sin loves the 2450. This is probably a lie. The 2450? I don't know what that is. You like the 2450. Do I? Yes, you do. Is it, is it Gorillas? No. Then I don't know if I love it. You do. I care a lot. That's my purse? Oh, yeah, I like that one. See? I was getting, like, I liked her old places, okay? Have we noticed <laughs> the flattened pillows yet? Oh, yes, oh, yeah. we did. If I die, my tombstone needs to say two things. Tuna melts are hot, and daddy just got to me. Oh, boy. But I was kind of like, a few things were happening in my brain. I was thinking, I think the no windows were getting to me a little bit. Like, I don't, I don't, like, we always have our curtains. I don't know. Like, just having them, I think, is, like, helping. I never open my curtains, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. But I just kind of wanted somewhere bigger a little bit. Imagine living basically beachfront and keeping your windows and curtains know, closed right? at like all times. Like, you're paying for the view. Just, yeah, just close the curtains. 
It's a bigger kitchen. Um, I was thinking like, I really want a cat. And they have to have windows. Oh my God, I will never forget when she's like, I don't even like windows. Right. Because her old apartment had yeah. no window. Yeah. I don't even like windows. They're stupid. So if you think they're going on, it feels so better like, just knowing they're there. No, of the course thing was, from she wanted a bigger kitchen. Oh, yeah. That's what it was. She wanted a more food storage. Uh huh. That's it. Like he was living there alone. He's still living there. It was cozy though, but. Then we moved to the other one. I think one. that's Salad's apartment. This is hers. Probably. Now this so one has two bad. bedrooms. Oh, nice well, the one see. that you lived in before had two bedrooms. Oh, this yeah, one's on the it. lower floor. Scritch. She's never Mine once addressed that they live in a lower floor apartment than who, they first did. Who taught you how to scritch? What are you doing? Over. Other over. No, that yeah, oh, down. Up. You're no terrible. scritch. You give the worst directions of anybody ever. Scritch, damn it. I'm scritching. Scritch like you've never scritched before. I'm scritching. You're just rubbing your palm on me. You're oh, terrible at You're this. You're terrible at everything. Just said the other night. I, I didn't see outside. I lied. <laughs> yeah, that was why yesterday was a nice time because I did go outside. <laughs> yesterday was a it's nice not that busy time during the weekend because I did go outside. Because it's so rare. She got taken for a walk. She went to a walk. Yeah, on weekends and we avoid that. But before iftar, you know, it's not as busy. Yeah, you give directions like the people steering that ship. <laughs> he had his own house, like in his own place. I didn't mean like a mansion or a big house. He you said, said that. you said he was rich with cars and a mansion. You said that, Chantel. She deleted that video. Yeah, I mean exactly. Mm -hmm. I don't care if he was rich. You didn't have to lie about him being rich. Maybe he lied to her. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe it was. Oh, I, I, I am very wealthy man. But all my money is trapped in African bank. You send me nine thousand dollars, we will get married. And yeah. she just showed up at his house. He he thought he was just gonna he get the like, money oh, and run. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. And she said, "But don't worry, I'll keep paying you. I'll give you all my YouTube checks." And he said, "Okay, you can stay. Get your own like, apartment." You know what? I was watching very popular, <laughs> like millions of subscribers, a Muslim couple on TikTok. They're like, "Have iftar with us." They got in the car and went to to get drive through. Nobody's cooking a huge iftar meal every day. Like, no way. Sorry. I don't think anyone accused you of cooking a huge meal every day, Chantel. It's just insane that every meal is takeout. She does do huge meals just for herself. She'll make a giant thing of something and be like, I'm saving this little tiny sliver for my husband. And then she'll eat the whole rest of it. <sighs> uh, she deleted the married status and her profile picture no longer has a ring in it. Oh, interesting. I, yeah, I th the whole, taking all of the Islam crap out of her descriptions weird. I am telling you, she is Canada bound. Rolled it up and truck it. Maybe. She's Canada bound, my friend. But why would she not but leave that stuff in there? If that just means break. Maybe. Okay. Did the poopster okay, get caught here, pooping again? Here's a theory. Her, she just did that video about <laughs> Uzzler, uh, blah, 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 other, Uzzler Muslims? other Muslims harassing her for being shit at what she's pretending to do. So maybe she thought if she took all those keywords out, she wouldn't get found. Like that would hide her from actual people that want to watch things about Muslim people. And then they stumble across her and they're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you doing this? Maybe. Breaking your faust. It could be anything. <laughs> Could be worms if you wanted to. Well, no. Yes, the Osler Mullums. Mm -hmm. hey, yeah, it's bold, Livy, coming from you. Oh, I don't think worms yeah, are hollow. That's true. <clears throat> Blue pot, like, why would I do that, though? Like, I, I didn't say that. I have my own debts. I have my own bills. I need to make money, too. But to say that, I like, somebody who doesn't earn any money is just not right. And they can't keep the same consistency with their stories and lies. First, it's, I'm so broke, I can't afford to go anywhere. I can't afford to do anything. But yeah, my husband's with me for money, which I don't have, apparently. No, but no he, he's taking what you do have. The little money you do have is all for salad. Yeah. You are too broke to go anywhere. Um, He didn't even let you play any games at the arcade. No. You know, so it's like she, super stupid. She didn't get to play any reindeer games. Poor Rudolph. <laughs> it depends, Gemini Gem. You can find like cheap places, but they're not posh, you know? <laughs> See that eye roll? Mm -hmm. See that eye roll? They're not posh. Yeah. Uh. 
It's all, it's cheaper for sure. Look how dingy that couch is now. It that couch was gross. nice and white. And it just looks dingy. It looks a little, little gross. Like this place for a two-bedroom. And it's like... Unshowered Number Chantel one, you never pay any of your utilities. It's just rent and, and like couch. And Could you imagine? Jeez Louise. Okay. It'd be like Eve. It'd be like us getting new white couches with Eve. It's about Salad getting these new white couches for Chantel. Now here's the question. Hmm. Are you ready? Yeah. If you had the opportunity to smell the seed of the key, no. would you? No. Why would I do that? Chat, would you? No. Would you would you take the opportunity to smell the seed of the Kia? Why would anyone do that? Other than Salad, because he's weird. Gross. What? Inquiring minds want to know. That is Kybella's couch. It is. He bought that for Kybella. Or his family bought that for him to find new wife. <laughs> yeah, but would do it. Did she say she would do it? I would do it. I would Gross. do it. I would yeah, do the it. opportunity, like he says it. Not like, would you for a million dollars? It's, no. would you take the opportunity <laughs> just because you're a fucking sicko? No. Yeah, I would. Uh, I'm doing research, man. This is <laughs> important work over here. <laughs> to the corner, Sin, right? The money that you give to the superintendent. It's your brain out of the weird places. I'm going gonna, gonna to try to synthesize the smell and sell my own Beezer salad, perfume. Salad might do that. I'm going to smell my own Beezer perfume. Apparently, we're not getting paid anything, Squeaky Ghost. We're just doing it for the opportunity. Yeah. yeah. It must be because they also clean your car. Like, I, I would pay $20 just to walk around Chantel's house. Not touch anything, not to just walk around like... That's weird. I'd pay 20 bucks. 20 bucks. <laughs> she might let you do it for 20 bucks. She might. <laughs> 20 bucks and a cameo, sold. Because your car will get a lot of sand dust over time. But then I could come back and be like, for $40, I'll tell you guys. <laughs> yeah, if he didn't love me, like, why would he be with me? Like, look at all the problems He's not I with have. you. He's gone. Where's he <laughs> at? He's Where's young, he like. Yeah, that's why he has another girlfriend. I have all these diseases. Well, not like, you know what I mean? I have a lot of illnesses, a lot of problems. I'm not making all these diseases. <laughs> Livy said, if I had double, double layer gloves, I'm going through the drawers. <laughs> making what I, a fraction of what I used to. Do you think she... she went over there to give Sally chlamydia or something. She said, I have all these diseases. Her herpes. Oh, yeah. I think she's passing around her herpes to Sally, or do you think he just, is that one of the reasons why he stayed away from her all this time? I don't think Sally stick the, stuck the tip in. I don't think he did. I don't think he stuck the tip in. I don't think he did. We're not going to Canada. Why aren't you taking your husband to Canada? That's what I don't know. I don't think I'll get a maid after all. No, I'm keeping up with it for now. <laughs> Sometimes, like, I have days where I'm not feeling well. <laughs> Test the scale. Well, it costs five extra dollars to stand on the scale. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it would, it would like be that. 70 pounds off, though. That, your scale story is one of my favorite <laughs> fucking things <laughs> I have ever heard in my life. Put a one in the chat if you have Everyone not. Everyone has heard the scale if story. If you have not heard Miss Sin's amazing scale story. Everyone has heard the Put scale Put a one in the story. chat if you have not heard it. Really selling yourself. Well, I make him laugh. Oh, uh, two people haven't. <sighs> Livy, I know you've heard the scale story, you liar. <laughs> okay. Scale story. <laughs> I clean houses. <laughs> just people's houses. I'm a cleaning lady. And I, I always would get on people's scales. Just, you know, you want to see how much you weigh. There's a scale in the bathroom. So I'd get on the scales. Until one day, a lady whose scale I had been on many, many times texted me from work and said, please don't use my scale. It's messing up my app because apparently some scales connect to an app that tracks your weight. And I, I don't know how many people knew that I was playing on their scale, but I will never do it again. <laughs> so funny. Don't get on people's scales. They know when you do and you fuck up their shit. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> we have fun together. I'm very loving. Um, what else? I'm beautiful. Shelly be beezing. I was beezing. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. Um, what else? She's probably at work like, this bitch is on my scale I can again. Like anyone, no one else. 
snoozy. I'm eating sambusa, fries, chicken 65. Uh, hold on. Is this... I, I would have never thought that it was like they're connected to apps now. I had no idea. I'm also old. <laughs> no idea this was a thing. Is this the actual dang foop? It is. Okay. Hi, dang foop. Oh, we like your videos. Yeah, we usually sit down and watch them together. We do. I haven't watched a new one yet. It came out yesterday. We have to watch it still. And now you have a wrench. Yes. So, falafel. Government funded falafel. We are. Move your water bottle. 36 minutes into this, and she's still just chowing. Yeah, the whole bag of groceries is right there on the couch for her to eat. Fruit leather. I'm not sitting down full. Oh. Done. The love documentary coming up. Thanks, Michelle. It's a whole circumference. It's so nice of you. Your work is amazing. And I saw the thing you put on Twitter about uh, people mad at you that you put it up for members first for like a oh, day. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. It's like, okay, what do we just not want? He, her to get paid? Mm-hmm. Hi, Sylvia. Can you sing Seasons Change? When the seasons change, my love won't change your all. I can't do my Monty impression and my um, skinny queen impression are the exact same. I can't differentiate the two. <laughs> I contribute the <laughs> stress. Yeah, that's true. I always go. <laughs> Ooh, hand me that mag. <laughs> what are you doing with bullets? We're, we're doing this right now. It's supposed to someplace else. In your pocket? Why are you getting bullets in No, it's just where it's going. Okay. FFG mentioned sin giggle, so I ended up giggling and hearing it in my head. <laughs> <laughs> it, I, I, I got, I saw a lot of comments like that. They got really nice voice. That guy has a really nice voice. I'm like, oh god, your ego, please oh, don't okay. tell him I, that, I, you guys. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. Oh, I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, Thanks, Susie. and speaking of my real nice voice, oh yeah, I have found a creepy pasta to do. Oh yeah. So, should everything go according to plan, which it has not done for like a year and a half, but <laughs> should it this week, I should have a new speakeasy video and a creepypasta out Friday. Oh, very nice. Did you see someone literally counted the frames in your videos? What? <laughs> Stop. Mm, mm, mm -hmm. Alien invasion, inshallah it's me. soon. Mm -hmm. It's me. She's talking about me. What do you mean counted frames? What does that even mean? Can you speak in the... Do you not know? You don't know what frames are? You're a YouTuber and you don't know what frames she are? She has no idea. Well, many, many years ago, when video was transposed onto celluloid, it was frame by frame. The frame would be put through a screen, that's what would show up. And you could pause on a specific frame. Now we have the same thing, and it's just a singular frame on the screen. Mm -hmm. That's why monitors have 60, 120 hertz. It's how many frames refresh in a second. Yes. Uh, you know, terms of people who don't, uh, like, not never had a wrench before oh you should have all the wrenches dang fupa you should but if you abuse it i have to take it away on obsessive terms please for a garfunkel you can time out no. if you want <laughs> just for fun i'm not for our two livy has a wrench you can't time out someone else oh, with a wrench. well damn what is the creepypasta channel name again that would be creepsin all one word it has a little uh goku black-esque avatar that samaj drew for me fucking forever ago yeah he hit me up a I say the other day, it was probably a year and a half ago, and he's like, hey, I made this, and then just fucked off again. I'm like, oh, hey, wait, what do I owe you? And then he, they just never heard back. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> Rhonda, someone said she sounds like a long <laughs> fart, and I can't, I can't, that is so true. Friends from chin to stomach. Blue pot, or Brenda, whoever said that. However you want to spend your- Sin has a face for radio. Bitch, I am gorgeous. Precious time on this planet? Go for it. Oh, the creep cast with the meat candy and Wendigo is very good. I've been liking that, too. Yeah, I like those two guys. I'm fine. I don't hide it. There you go. Exactly, Bobby. Bobby Yaga. <clears throat> it's all the other day. It could be three years ago, but it's like, yeah. It's yeah, I have day. no concept of what happened when in my life. Especially not the past few years. Uh-uh. It's all no one it. big week. I have yep. to find it. <laughs> sort of. But before I was Muslim... Did I ever hide my body? No. Did these morons hide their bodies? Yes. Have you watched BoJack Horseman? No, I have not. It doesn't really seem up my uh, alley. Did they look worse than me and Amberlynn? Yes. No. Mm -hmm. Who looks worse than you and Amberlynn? Shut up. Shut up. That's what I want. Hotter than 90% of YouTube. Shut up, Chantel. Who? 
who does look worse than Chantel? It, it would be very hard to think of someone who looks worse than Chantel. Uh, this is so horrible of me, but all I can think back to are those old ads of, like, firefighters <laughs> who had half their face burnt off. Right. Right. I mean, like Tammy Slayton, maybe. Not anymore. She looks, she weighs less than I do, I think. Oh, well, yeah. Right, exactly. So She's, no. like, a, she's like 220 pounds or something. Right. Egg on legs, egg on legs, situation type deal. She's oh, yeah, the Vanessa. penguin from Batman. She was cool. Yeah, the penguin from Batman. Thank there. you, Marvelous he's, Bailey. He's a little worse looking than Chantel. Natter. Okay, Natter. there's okay. one. There's one. Boogie? Okay. Ghostface. Hi, Ghostface. Okay. Yeah, Susan, yeah. I, I saw a picture of Tammy and her sister, and Tammy did lose a lot of weight, but if I did not know who Tammy was and that she lost all that weight, I would think that lady's a crackhead. Yeah. She looks like a crackhead. Yeah. But it's just all, like, the loose skin hanging all over. Like, her face looks droopy, like, just from the loose skin, but it looks like drugs. Yeah. I'm to record a Madonna song after this. Which one? But yeah, now that's the other part of it is being such a lousy person, as we know, you makes you that much more unattractive. Yes. <laughs> Vanessa, SJM in disguise. Oh yeah, remember when he said he was coming? He was in Ottawa, and I freaked out. Well, what I was going through, I was paranoid. Oh, At the end of the day, through. the haters' opinions and praise of fans don't matter. You have to start taking care of yourself as soon as possible. Yes, I agree. <laughs> You're out of breath. Yeah, I already did let you. Hmm? She agrees. She needs to start taking care of herself soon. She's up there. She's got to eat some more food to eat. There's a picture of me with Madonna hair, but I look. So as of right now, she just stopped eating at 40 minutes. She has been eating. Is she done now? 40 minutes straight. I feel like there's going to be more eating. More like Mozart, but whatever. Take a bow. The night is over. This masquerade is getting older. I like this eyeshadow color on her. It it looks. She looks like Mimi from Drew Carey. <laughs> she does. It's 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 some color. I mean, that's okay. It's better than just the beige. Lights are low. No, I want to sing um something. It's like the, when she was doing the immaculate Charmed collection, her the horror really makeup. And then whenever she got to like, you know, bedtime stories and albums like that, it was more. <clears throat> Okay, I don't know who that is. Hold on. <laughs> yes, Mimi is smaller than Chantel. That's true. By a lot. Hold on. I got you. <laughs> I, I got you. How, how have you never seen this? Uh, you might be a little young. Yeah, we're old, honey. Well, I'm old. <laughs> That's Mimi from True Care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chantel wishes she had that hair. No oh, shit. The Dee Dee look. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hung up. No, I don't like that song. I want you the right way. Just kidding. God gave me this personality, okay? So, <laughs> he made me a beezer. La Vida Loca. What is this one? My birthday is in three days. Ray of Light. No, I don't. And I think that is tomorrow is her birthday. Oh, I can't wait for the snowflake video. And the snowflake video is coming out tomorrow. Oh, I cannot wait. I like that one either. She's gonna rage. Over a loop, Paul song. Don't you like the prayer? It's <laughs> well, I like that song though. But yeah, it's probably not the most. How old is she turning? I don't know. What forty? Is it forty? Forty flat. Is her husband gonna take her out for a birthday? Get her a birthday present for a big forty? I'm betting not. Probably not. I'm betting he's not even gonna come home. No. He might drop off food. Yeah, he, he might bring a, a piece of chicken over or something. Oh, boy. <sighs> Boot pot, can you say something inflammatory? Get out of here, you Josh. The kid <sighs> gave me Smarties from school. She's throwing them out the window. Look at how many pink ones are in there, though. It's all pink and yellow. Mmm, Smarties. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Richards, I would definitely be not good to sing. Who's that girl? Baby, yeah, who's that? yeah, he'll do another keyboard song. That would be nice. Uh, hey, Mr. Sin Curious, if you got a package from Finland to your P.O. box. Shit, uh, 
Maybe no. stuff that could be expired. You better go check. I have not gotten one yet. I'm afraid to go back up there because next time I go up there, I'm going to be like, hey, 200 bucks. Go um, after their, like after hours. Yeah, then I can't get the packages. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got a small fucking PO box. Still too- I didn't think about that. I, I was going to let it lapse. I talked about this a little bit uh, Sunday. I was going to let it lapse because I just haven't been using it. And 200 bucks every six months, it's a big chunk of change to drop on it is. That's a fucking go. expensive for a PO box. But, um, now I, I people said, "Oh, well, I'm sending you a thing." Well, and we need to have it too for the packages for return address. Yeah. Fuck, man! I didn't want to keep it open, but PO box charges you. Oh God, yeah. And I got. We have to pay to have one. Yeah, I went to the shittiest city. I could find where I didn't feel like I needed body armor. I got the tiniest PO box they make. And it's still four hundred something a year. That's crazy. That girl. Madonna classics are the best, yeah. And it went up. Hey, yeah, I was like one you on speaker and you tell me when, when you first got it. It, it was one thirty. It's going up a little bit. A little bit. One thirty, the one fifty, the one seventy, now it's two hundred. Mm-hmm. What's your emergency? <clears throat> Last time I renewed it, September, I think. The paper said one thirty. I'm like, oh fuck yeah, it went down. They're like, no, sorry, this is wrong. It actually went up another ten bucks or something. Yeah. Okay, my what speaker? the fuck is going on? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Mary. And what kind I'm of job do you do? So I don't know what kind of you're spending twenty four hundred a year. No, it's two hundred bucks every six months. Emergency. You know, like everyone evacuate. Somebody spilled all the cookie crisp cereal in aisle seven. Everyone go home. <laughs> Hi, Andre Marie. I go space. Oh, sorry, Michelle. I'm sorry for your loss. May West. Oh, I don't know anything by by May West. I have to pay the employees pensions and well the fucking stamps are like 70 cents now mm-hmm. oh, thank you, Bear. it's because nobody's <laughs> using the regular post office anymore yeah, it's all us ups yeah. and yeah they have to FedEx. make their money somehow a post office extortion fee <laughs> insert slabs link that's pretty good <laughs> yeah i'll do it uh i thought it was 200 a month no god no. i i just wouldn't have one then <laughs> i wouldn't have it how's the toolbox going i'm, I'm pretty Pretty all set back to where I need to be. Forever stamps. I wish that I would have known stamps would like triple in price. I would have got a bunch of forever stamps. They were like what, thirty eight cents when they came out. Yeah. Yeah. Not that I use stamps My very intro. often. If I had bought fifty of them, I'd probably still have Tree some lady. left. But mm-hmm. I sent proper licorice and stuff Miss Sin would love. Yes. Oh. All right, I'll go up there. I gotta go to. Menard, so I might be out that way tomorrow. <laughs> what are oh, sure, sure. Okay, just stickers? Can you feel? No, it was, no, they're just stamps. it was stamps, but they were forever stamps because it was. They said no matter if postage goes up or not, it's they always are good. I don't know if they even still make them. They do. At a time, you're, you're you future proofing, yeah, but it doesn't. Like you, you buy because stamps go up a couple cents every year. So if you buy a bunch of them, then there's they stay good. Otherwise, you would have to buy extra stamps to cover postage if you only bought a sixty cent stamp or whatever the hell it is. You got to save big at Menards, huh? No, that's the only place I know that sells uh, counter remnants where they're not outrageously expensive. Um, anonymous for seven seven seven. No comment. Thank you very much. This is a ten out of ten pause. Wow. Didn't even notice this it. Looks like my grandma after she had a stroke. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say she looks like my grandma now. Well, she's dead now. Yeah. She that... would be a skeleton. Maybe. Yeah. Probably. She'd probably be a skeleton. That was. Did they embalm her? I I don't know. I don't think embalming stops you from becoming a skeleton. Yeah, but it just slows it down. Oh, it's been a long time. It's yeah. been a long time. It's, it's been at family. least like what seven, eight years since Grandma died. She's got to be a skeleton by now. My grandma also looked like that after her stroke. <laughs> after, after she turned into a skeleton too. Good look at you. Oh fuck! <laughs> oh, oh, this is like some fucking horror movie shit. There, there was your uh, thumbnail. Beautiful, hotter than ninety percent of YouTube guys. Looks like the the. The it, creepy scenes in the exorcism of Emily Rose, like where the faces get all oh, yeah. raw. Is she mocking a person who had a stroke with this? I don't know. Is that what she's doing? Is mocking someone? I don't know. I wasn't listening. I haven't I haven't listened to her in like the past ten minutes. My intro. 
Tree lady? <laughs> who the fuck's tree lady? Who is tree lady? Yeah, somebody who had a stroke, apparently. <laughs> Oh, chef shit, I can't wait to try some of your biblical canoes! <laughs> I, I, I bet this person is probably more attractive than you, Chantel. Is that why you're making fun of them? <laughs> Hi, SMP! She's making fun of sin. She's making fun of you, honey. You had a stroke, too. You should be offended. Nah. Baba Yaga said all of my grandparents are skellies now. Just put them in the yard for Halloween. Me too. Skellies! <laughs> Hi, Heather. Hi, Cynthia. <laughs> you have just tested positive for him. Oh, she's making fun of somebody from Nader's chat. Why the fuck? Does she, how does she know who's in Nader's chat? Because she's obsessed with him. What the fuck? Bola. <laughs> Jenna's dog. Jenna just tested positive for Ebola. She needs to quarantine immediately. Bye. Your sofa looks so comfortable for naps. <laughs> yeah, look at all the pillows. <laughs> That's nap position pillows. Yeah, because yep. that's where she'd be sleeping. That's where she'd be sea lining and all over them flat. <laughs> Thank pillows. you, Cynthia. No more talk of S Jam. Eileen is S Jam. I'm just joking. <laughs> My teeth are shiny today. Brush him. Brush him. Brush him. Brush him. Brush your dog fell down the stairs. Go tend to your dog. <laughs> oh no. The ever relocating pillows. <laughs> yeah. Frame by frame. Tell me you have zero life and anyone in your life who loves you without telling me that you have no one who loves you and no life. Because Oh honey, nobody uh -huh. loves us and we have no life. Oh, uh -huh. uh -huh. I'm so sad. Yeah. Sorry guys. Uh -huh. I have to go. No one loves me. <laughs> Thank you for noticing me. I thought she didn't know what frame by frame meant. If I was I in the life of somebody no life if we did that. Oh, listen listen to this. This is good. Telling me that you have no one who loves you and no life. Because if I was in I don't think she, I think she saw the clip. She had to have. On Yabba stream or something. Oh, yeah, Yabba played it. That's where she saw it. And she doesn't know. I don't think she knows who we are. I, I hope not. But listen, listen to she this. She thinks we're just some random Twitter people, probably. In the life of somebody who I loved who was doing these things, if I caught them, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just doing a frame by frame of somebody's chins. I would kindly, gently remind them She's how pathetic they chins. are and to please seek help out of love. This is tough. My loved one is right here with me we, we we'll seek help together yeah she's right my, here. my kid knows we make fun of her she's she right thinks it's great she's right here dying next to me yeah uh, we're horrible uh, people we're going to hell oh how dare we count chantel's chins uh shark bait for the 1234 no comment thank you very much shark bait much appreciated thank you shark bait it's 1234 a thing it shouldn't be it is not okay thank you shark bait that's one two three four. Oh, it is hey. obviously they have no one in their life to do that yeah, I have the hottest macaroon. That's true. Smelly Kelly! Um, I don't know. Smelly Kelly, probably soon. Hopefully. <laughs> right, babe? Like, come on. No way, Black Celine started a channel? Get out of here! Rhonda! Oh, I missed you, by the way, Rhonda. Okay, I have to go check that out. Yes, we do. Is it still the same, Black Celine kiss? What is this? Who, ha ha. Shark babe, brew, ha ha. I don't get it. I don't understand. I'm a professional. Consider yourselves helped. Continue on your way. Thank you. Thank you, Mad Jackson Bikes. I feel so much better. She's funny. So funny. And good at roasting. We all feel like that at times, girl. <laughs> uh, the new Beetlejuice. I hope so, too, Sylvia. So the trailer looks... I'm oh, Finding Nemo? Uh, I haven't seen that in five ever. I decided to see the same people, but then I see, then I saw Jenna Ortega, and like they just like they just I hate when they use one actor or actress and they use them for like typecast them like she was in uh, she was Wednesday I, at I, a. I I agree with her on this. I'm so sick of Jenna Ortega being in everything. Let's get rid of. She's her. She's typecast, but she's good in what she's typecast. Yeah, uh, she's she's always the same character. Exactly. Yeah. That's why it's called typecast. We don't need to see her in every movie. Do that to her like every five years, not every other month. How old is she? I don't know. A child. Twenty one, twenty two. No, she looks like she's twelve. She doesn't. Yes, she does. Um, you know, they always try to put her in these like gothy, moody kind of, like you know, I'm too goth to be cool. I'm too, I'm goth, so I'm cool kind of movies. It's like annoying. It is annoying. I don't know. It, doesn't she start bitching about the lead in Dune not being Arabic, when he's not Arabic in the books? Well, she, she probably has no idea. She just heard someone else say that, so she's gonna say it too. Thanks, Elamore. A new omen. I haven't even seen the original. No, I think I saw the original a long time ago, and that's it. 
Right, Bobby, I get that. It was, they had no attention. Joanne, like the same they had no attention. They had no attention. Five different things in like a year. Thanks, Newsy. Yeah, it does. I did it on purpose. Timothy Chalamet. Like, he's another one right now. Before it was that one girl from uh, Euphoria. What's her name? Like, they just go on these, like, you know. Ugh, I hate when. Zendaya? Is she talking about Zendaya right now? Probably. She's also on too much stuff. What does she get typecast as? Oh, no, she's, she's just been in, in like too much three stuff. things. She's just in too much stuff. She was in Spider Man and Euphoria. Yeah, she's she's more popular than she should be. I think that's all that is. It sounds like she's jealous more than anything. Young hot people like Jenna Ortega and Zendaya, I don't fucking like them. And they don't use people well, from the race. She doesn't like women. Yeah. Of the person they're portraying in the movie. I hate that. Like in Dune, Timothy Chalamet as that, um, who was a Middle Eastern person? <laughs> I don't know. But he wasn't Middle Eastern. You don't know what you're talking about. Forgive me, but I saw a lot of like Arab people complaining about. She is so pearl coated right now, <laughs> man. I cannot. Fu and as coming, I'm not a right winger. No. A libertarian, probably. Okay. That seems more accurate for you, maybe. But I, I love shitting on people mm -hmm. like Crowder and Pearl because people get so fucking ass mad about it. The Britney Venti videos about Pearl are my favorite thing. I can't stand Britney Venti, I, but I might have to watch I, those. For a long time, did not like Britney Venti. I liked her when I first found her years and years ago, and then she got annoying, and I stopped watching her. And then she she's just going after Pearl like constantly now. Is it good? She, it's so good. I might, she's I might like have to ripping tune back apart in. her outfits, and oh, it's just fucking. Pearl fantastic. looks like she smells like Fiona from Shrek. Pearl needs to wash her hair. Pearl is a fucking pick me. She's such a pick me. That. You but her whole thing is women should be married and good wives. Meanwhile, she's what, 30 and single? Uh huh. And now, with that stuff about Crowder and his wife, she's like, why doesn't she just get a job? It's like, you yeah. fucking idiot. <laughs> as an Arab person, what, there's not one single Arab actor you can use. You have to put pointy chin Chalamet. Pearl smells like blue cheese and earring backs. Don't insult blue cheese like that. That shit's delicious. Yeah. <gasps> Anyway, yes, and <laughs> And a lot of these actors are overrated. I can do a better. I can do a better job. Let me see here. Just stinky things. Like she looks like she <laughs> fucking. You know what she looks like? She smells like dirty hair. Yeah, she her hair always looks greasy. She looks like she smells like and unwashed she, hair. She, like she preaches all about femininity, but she like put some mascara on something. Try a little bit. Try to look nice. Maybe wash your hair. A little bit of blush, something. She, no, nope, none of it. Just look like you walked off of the set of some Amish TV show or something. And I think she has like two million subs on YouTube. Yeah, she's demonetized. Oh, is she? Yeah. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say I saw. I was. She sh showed up in my feed. <laughs> she's rich. I mean, she did like an rich anyways. hour and a half live stream and it had like two thousand views and I was yeah. like, hey, yeah, two million subs. But I. That's why I ditched the old main channel. Because yeah. once you're demonetized, you're done. Yep. Um, what can I do? Timothy's character's supposed to be white? Really? No. He's playing Bob Dylan? No. No, it's not. You're wrong. T I've never seen the books or the movies. You're wrong. It's, he's not supposed to be white. T <laughs> the movie takes place in a desert. He's not supposed to be white. Sorry. A shiny Espers. Espers. She said she could do a better job than Zania. Who, Chantel did? Yeah, she said she could do a better acting job. Okay, Chantel. Okay. If I didn't even catch that. Good if catch. they needed somebody to be half of the cast. <laughs> Aladdin should have done it. DXR, I 0% agree with that. It's sci-fi. No, but isn't there like a Middle Eastern character? I saw a lot of people complaining about that. <laughs> no, he's, he's supposed to be Middle Eastern. I'm telling you, I know. I know. You're wrong. I know. It's like, I can't remember the name. People check. Okay. The, the men. Holy shit. Ooh. Her health is bad. That's like not even close. Betty or something? Ooh. Chantal, you need a doctor. She looks like one of those cartoons where they're on drugs and the pupils. Yeah. Are, me, 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 yeah. Me. I think the Betty. Okay. How does she not notice? And then when people point the shit out, like her cheek, cheek in, her pupils looking on weird, she's, she's, I don't see it. You, you have to see it. How do you not? 
Maybe Some people everything's just fuzzy to her because her eyes don't work. Maybe. Think about it. <laughs> no, I don't want to watch them. Grime time powers. Foodie would be a great sandworm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, here's a, uh, I remember. I was probably like, I don't know how old, maybe four. The, my mother took me to the movie theater for the first time. Oh, we went no. with my grandma and my grandpa oh, and my no. mom and me as a little kid. Oh. We went to see Beetlejuice. Okay. The sandworms made me cry. We had to leave the movie theater. <laughs> I was fucking hysterical, afraid of those sandworms. <laughs> are, are, what are you thinking my about? My first time ever to the movie theater, I had to leave. What are you thinking about the new Beetlejuice trailer? I want to see it. I think we have I'm to gonna go see it. I'm going to be scared of the sandworms. I think we're going to have to go see it. I thought that was going to be a Tremors reference. No, I loved the Tremors. Tremors was good. Kevin Bacon was going to be my husband when I was like eight and Tremors came out. I watched that movie 700 What's times. What's the guy's name? Bert something? Was, with the guns oh, in the I bunker? That's my favorite. Yeah, I was obsessed with Kevin Bacon. I used to be in a Facebook group called Bert. What is his last name? Bert. Bert something. Yeah. It was Bert something's meme bunker. And it was the greatest <laughs> Facebook group ever. And it was all libertarian right wing me it was fucking hilarious movie thank you because i don't like zendaya and i don't like timothy chalamet so they would annoy me the whole movie i mean i don't like not like them as people I have reynolds i just mean like they get on my nerves okay and a lot of things get on my nerves we should make a movie <laughs> no i can't act well yeah actually i'm the best actor in the world <sighs> okay you know i did a poor job of explaining that tremors t-r-e-m-o-r-s Drummers, I am Dean. Burt Grummer. Burt Grummer, yes, it was Burt Grummer's meme bunker. It was the fucking greatest Facebook group I've ever been in. <clears throat> yeah, boobies. Babe, <laughs> loyalty bees are club. It was like seven months. Tell me this sick, sick action channel. Yeah, that was they like don't have my, a single life my first horror movie, movie that I was obsessed with. Telling me they don't, right? Trump, Tremors is a horror movie? Well, I th to me, it was a scary movie when I was a kid. Maybe. Yeah, that's, that's what I said. Scary movie you said, ladies, baby, babies. <laughs> I didn't even know you were still a member. That's so cute. Yeah, all right. That's well, Gummer, Gummer, so, Gummer, whatever. Gr no, it's Grummer. Oh, it is true. Yeah. Uh, like, that's a new low going frame by frame for what? To reveal that I'm fat? Like, I'm on camera. No, it, was, it was just interesting. No, it was Chantel. to reveal that the bow of the ship. <laughs> it, the, it'd be bowing. The bow of the ship took 31 frames before the chin of the hull appeared. Mm -hmm. People have eyes. They don't need your um, inspector gadget analysis. Chin bear, inspector gadget analysis. Inspector Sinny. -na 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 -na. That's funny. He treats him penis for the OG Wrecking Howard love for Howie. Maybe a new Princess Peach Pride? I, I tweeted, somebody tweeted it out and said, you're apparently obsessed with all this stuff. I'm like, yeah, I know. And then I, I, I went and saw the clip. And I said, apparently I'm Inspector Gadget too. And oh lordy, it's Jordy. Was like, oh my god, Inspector Gadget. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kina Bear. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Actually, I'm gonna go get Howie just for you and give him some. Oh fuck. Oh no. What? Someone edited the bow of her ship into the bridge. Ah. Uh, no. Too much. Ah. Uh, oh boy. Something left over. It's <laughs> just. <laughs> 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 but do you notice how she is not mentioning all of the Twitter threads showing her her outing the other day? All of the filter fails. Oh, that filter! There was filtered. a lot of like the the misshaped shopping cart, the misshaped floor tiles, the misshaped pillars in the mall. There was a whole lot of that. <laughs> show us, show us, link it in Discord. I just thought of it. I just thought of it. If someone just edited her gunting towards the bridge, <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I thought Salad was Inspector Gadget with his extendable penis that was gonna. Do something to Kybella. Oh yeah, what was it? Yeah, his 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 dick would extend. Yeah, yeah. He would extend to her cross on her something. I don't fucking know, but he had a go go gadget ween. Howie, how he likes bread, a little piece. Won't hurt him. I've given him a lot worse. <laughs> right, babe? Yeah, a hundred. Have you watched any Arab dramas? No, I never do. Salah though does. <laughs> I outed you, babe. Lisa P. Remember for ten. Thank you, Lisa. Sorry, I'm being saucy today, guys. Toki20, welcome to Play Ups. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, if you were me, you would understand. 
Brady's gonna so sick. No coming back. She's she's stunted. Thank you. Ready to I Sh Chantel calling anybody stunted is amazing. <laughs> oh, uh, did we took a uh, eleven minute break and we're back to food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa P. <Pete. coughs> uh, teardrop, hi. You're just in time. I was gonna go get Howard. I'm gonna miss thing. Hold on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Mute I it. thought the hamster's name was Harry, and you just said it, Goofy. Now all of a sudden, it's actually Howie. Well, this hamster is Howie. It's the same hamster. It's not the same hamster. It's the same hamster. It's not the same hamster. I have seen all of the photos of this hamster's a different hamster. You can tell it's the same hamster. It's not the same hamster. It is. Because you know how I can tell? He's calm when he's held. If it was he's a new hamster, man. he would not be a calm hamster. It's rare to find a hamster that is this calm. Holy shit. I think he's like freaking nature. He's just filled his Look cheek. That. Stuffs it away in his cheek. You freak that's, of oh, that's why Chantel's got the big cheek. She's got the food in there for later. <laughs> she is Howie's mom. Where are your hamster usually, bitch? He put it in his cheek. Oh, no. no, that, no, no. That's the same hamster. He? He's, he doesn't squirm oh. to get away. He likes to be is held she calling the fucking cat over? Oh, no. No, no. Thanks. Yeah, she is. She's calling the cat over. I mean, she is saying no and also... At the cat. She's calling the cat over. She is. He put it in his cheek. Oh, no. Susan no, says, no. I trust Shelly in regard to hamsters. Thank you, Susan. I could tell that you hamster shouldn't. is the same hamster. Oh. Hi, She's Cat down. You're like showing it. Look, it's a hamster. What? And then it jumps at it. Like, what do you think it's going to do? Of course it's going to jump at it. Oh, she just wants to be friends. And then she like hits the cat in the head. <laughs> no. What no. are you doing? Absolutely what are you doing? ridiculous. Wow. Wow. Ridiculous. Okay, I think we're going to cut it there. I have another show to do. Oh, you do? Guys, thank you for coming and hanging out. little midweek fun. I will see you throughout the rest of the week with uh, videos and whatnot. And we will see you Sunday, Sunday, Sunday for the Sunday, Sunday stream. Yes, we will. Uh, guys, have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much. And we will see you all in the next one. Bye, everybody. Love you.